Hey, welcome into my channel. I'm Amy and on my channel I love all things makeup, beauty, project panning. I talk about books and sometimes keto um, on my channel. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned because today we're going to talk about deck of panning project pan. And if you are clicking on this video and you don't know what project pan means, I have a short that I created that kind of explains a little bit about it. So I'll link that for you so you can check that out. Um, okay, so this project is so much fun. I would love to know in the comments below, how long have you been project panning? This will be my third year, I think, to project pan. Um, okay, so Deck of Painting was created by Emily at Emily and Max here on YouTube, and it's a really fun project where um, you get to randomize select, uh, products that you are working on using a deck of cards. I'll have all of her information, and videos and stuff lifted, linked below so that you can check it out yourself. This project has five products that you are working on. Um, so all right, now I'm going to go through the ones that I'm not rolling out yet, and then we'll talk about the ones that I did meet my goal on. So there's two, I have five products, there are two that I did not meet my goal on, and the first one is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails um, Nail Polish. My goal is to finish this, and I was doing a pretty good job of using it um, two, three, four times a week until I got my fancy dip with tips and so once this comes off in a week or so I will pick this back up um, for sure and it is you know I picked this on purpose because I've never finished a fingernail polish comment below have you finished a fingernail polish before <laughs> never finished any kind it is getting very hard to get it out but I just want to challenge myself to be able to use all that I can of this I also did not meet my goal on my L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow. Um, I have Amber Rush. I had a goal to use this 20 times. Can I be honest? No judgment zone. I totally forgot that I even had this in the project from last month. I did use it a few times. My goal was 20 and I had to watch my video from before to figure that out. Oops. Um, I am going to put my painter's tape on here and I'm going to say that I've used this three times. And so I need to use it 17 more times before it can <laughs> roll out of the project. I do love that a lot though. And I have a video that I'll link for you also if you're interested in um, me getting reunited with that and kind of finding my love for it again. The three products that are rolling out the good news so I get to pick three cards today I'm so excited um, I finished my elf woe glow sunscreen boom just finished that one um, last week I also just finished a few days ago my Aveeno oat oil I started using this as a shave oil and so that really helped me to be able to finish I would use it as a shave oil and then spray it all over the rest of my body and I was really able to make quick quick work of that and I also reached my goal on this mixed bar um, sparkling hibiscus perfume my goal was to get to the end or the bottom of the end did that it's hard to see because I'm moving it I did that so I'm very excited that I get to draw three new cards today within my Minnie Mouse deck of cards is a Joker and that Joker is a no good guy there he is you do not want to have the Joker in your project because then that means that you have to pick something that you don't want to pan Nobody wants to pan something they don't want to pan. Hmm. Um, the cool thing about this is that Emily randomizes the board every month. So aside from the face cards, and um, the face cards stay the same, but the number cards change. The prompt for them change every month. So I love that. Um, you get some kind of refreshing unit. All right, here we go. We're going to pick the three cards. I'm going to pause and look at the game board and pick my products and then we'll come back and take a look. No joker. Okay, we have the seven of spades. 
We have the Seven of Diamonds. And one more. The Four of Hearts. I'm very excited and very thankful that I didn't get the Joker. I did get the Joker in January when I started this project. Oh, so maybe I won't for the rest of the year. All right, let right, I'll be back with my products. These cards were so much fun. The prompts, very happy with these. So the four of hearts correlated with influenced. And so when I took a look at everything that I had and tried to, I like to try to balance the products that I'm panning um, across all of my different projects so that I'm not having too many of one thing. <clears throat> and so when I took a look at all my stuff, and figured what can I use, I decided to do my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I was definitely influenced to buy this, and it's just a pretty cool, um, you know, kind of highlightery kind of thing, and it helps to just give your skin a really pretty glow. Not that I need that right now in the summertime. I'll definitely have to be careful about um, what products I pair this with. Um, I'm going to set a goal to use this um, 10 times because I'm not going to use it every day. So that might take me a month or two to get through 10 times. The seven of diamonds correlated with a blush. And I'm, I was a little stressed out about that one because I'm already panning um, two separate blushes and three blushes in a um, face palette. So what I decided to pick was my Tarte Amazonian Clay in Seduce, um, and I decided to do this one because I'm not sure how I feel about it. I've had this for a few years now, and it gets some hard pan, and I'm just not sure that I want to keep it. And I had said this in a recent video that this may end up getting decluttered um, at some point during the year. So I'm going to take this opportunity to use this 10 times and decide, do I want to keep this or do I want to pass it on to somebody else that might be able to enjoy it more than me? So 10 uses for this Halo Glow, 10 uses for this a blush, and seven of spades. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to do this. It is kid or pet picks my products. And so what I think I'm going to do and I'll kind of insert like either a picture or a video here um, because my daughter's not home right now. I'm gonna have my daughter pick something and I'm gonna have my dogs pick something. So I'm actually gonna add two things for this. So I'll be adding, instead of three, I'll be adding four. So I think that's gonna be so much fun. She will, she will love that. Um, okay, so that is my project. I'm gonna end up with six products right now. I will have these two things and these two things and two things that come from my kid and my pets. So excited. I love it. This project so, so, so much fun. So please be sure to go check out Emily's channel because um, she does a really great job of explaining it. And you can check the hashtag to um, see a lot of other deck of panning content. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.